The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the world's most important places for telling the story of a changing climate. Palmer Station, the U.S. research base, has seen winter temperatures warm up by 11 degrees Fahrenheit in the past 50 years. And the average year-round temperature has warmed up 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are enormous rates of change that are on a par with the most severe warming seen uh, anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere, including the Southwest U.S. and the Arctic Ocean Basin. Our project, the Extreme Ice Survey, has been looking at receding glaciers in the northern hemisphere for the last uh, seven or eight years and uh, thinking about how the receding glaciers are a manifestation of climate change. I always wanted to come to the southern hemisphere and this was an amazing chance. The Lindblad Expeditions, National Geographic Explorer, is a fantastic ship for doing this kind of work. It covers a lot of ground, it gets us to faraway places uh, that are otherwise very time consuming and or expensive or even impossible to get to. What we've done is we've taken nine time-lapse cameras and we've bolted them to bedrock alongside these glaciers. The cameras shoot every hour of daylight and that will produce roughly 4,000 frames uh, in a year on each one of these cameras. Very nice. I think of them as our little robot eyes. They're watching the world while we're far away and they're working for us, recording what's going on, telling us the story of these changing environments. And they'll be out there through the winter, through the spring, and we'll get back here in late spring, hopefully, about nine or 10 months from now, and we'll see what the cameras recorded about the, the changes in these glacial landscapes. This is a really important historical document that records a landscape that is transitory, that is changing, and in, in its current form will probably disappear uh, by the time my 12-year-old my daughter and my 25-year-old daughter uh, reach my age. You know, it will be radically different than what we see right now today.